how to get rid of mucus and phlegm in your chest and throat. Being sick sucks. Having your throat and chest filled with mucus and phlegm is not enjoyable. You have trouble breathing and sometimes feel sharp pains when you lay down. Trying to go through your daily routine while being congested with mucus and phlegm is not easy. People will hear you trying to clear your throat and you're probably breathing really heavy and loud as well. So people are generally annoyed, especially if this is happening at work. With that said, you definitely wanna get rid of that mucus and phlegm so you no longer are congested. There are many different natural remedies to choose from, but I have one remedy that is specifically designed to clear your lungs. Keep watching to find out how to get rid of mucus and phlegm from your chest and throat as fast as possible. Before we begin this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more daily tips like this and turn on notifications so you never miss our new videos. What is mucus? First, we're going to talk about what mucus is. If I had to compare it to something, I would compare it to gelatin. Mucus acts as a lubricant and a filter for our lungs. It protects them by filtering all the air we breathe in. The dirt and debris that is in the air are caught by the mucus so as not to be absorbed by the body. But it's not just the mucus that protects the lungs. There are other watery variations that play an important role. They work together and are created by cells that you can find in the nose and sinuses. Do you notice that when you catch a cold, your nose drips like a faucet? This occurs because of an excess of watery sensation. This is caused by a thick, crusty mucus. In most cases, this type of mucus will cause post-nasal drip and congestion. What is phlegm? Now that I have explained what mucus is, let me tell you about phlegm. Unlike mucus, phlegm is created in the lower airways. Like mucus, it helps protect the lungs from irritating dirt and debris. Phlegm does not have a slippery version like mucus does. It is typically very thick and causes the majority of congestions. When you blow your nose, mucus comes out of it. When you cough up a thick substance, it's usually phlegm. Another fun fact about phlegm is that it usually contains dead bacteria, white blood cells, and viruses. This is why doctors recommend you spit out phlegm rather than swallow it. You wouldn't want to keep a virus in your body, would you? Curious about what types of foods and drinks can help relieve throat pain, chest pain, and more when you're sick? Keep watching until the end to find out. The Remedy So, if you're suffering from congestion, try this 100% natural remedy. You'll need the following ingredients. One cup of maple syrup, 250 milligrams of filtered water, one organic lemon, one tablespoon of sage, one tablespoon of marshmallow root, one tablespoon of flaxseed. Once you gather the ingredients, it's time to make the remedy. First, get a saucepan and combine the maple syrup and the water. Heat the saucepan on medium for 10 minutes. Once it's heated, add the remaining ingredients. Once the remaining ingredients are added, lower the heat and keep it on the stove for 15 minutes. You can store this remedy in the fridge. For full effect, take one tablespoon three times a day until you're not congested anymore. Now that you have a natural remedy to help with your congestion, let me tell you a bit about the ingredients you're consuming. Sage. Sage comes from the mint family and contains a lot of essential oils. It has been known to help boost memory, soothe the nerves, and relieve anxiety. But what many people don't know is that sage is an expectorant herb. This means it has the ability to break down mucus and phlegm and get rid of it. Marshmallow Roots Now let's talk about marshmallow roots. This plant is constantly used in medicine. The root of this plant is typically used to help reduce inflammation in the stomach. Some people even use this root to help treat burns, ulcers, open wounds, and infections. Marshmallow has a slimy and thick substance that coats the mucous membranes when applied. Zinc. A healthy immune system needs zinc. Maple syrup contains 18% of the recommended daily value of zinc. Lemons contain vitamin C and bioflavonoids, which help destroy dangerous free radicals, which damage blood vessels and cause severe inflammation. When combined, all these ingredients can keep your lungs healthy and clean. 
now that you know about the secret remedy that can help you get rid of mucus and phlegm from your chest and throat, here are some extra foods that you can eat to help improve your health when you're sick. Chicken soup. There's a reason our parents always gave us chicken soup to eat when we were sick. Not only is it tasty, warm, and delicious, but it also has all sorts of health benefits. According to Healthline, chicken soup has all sorts of healthy minerals, vitamins, and other nutrients, which can help improve our health when we're sick. Chicken soup is also known to be an excellent source of electrolytes and fluids. And as we all know, it's extremely important to stay hydrated when we're sick. Chicken soup helps us stay hydrated. According to Healthline, studies also suggest that chicken soup can help clear nasal mucus and act as a natural decongestant. Garlic. Surprise? Well, don't be, or you shouldn't be. Garlic actually has all sorts of health benefits that can help us when we're sick. Garlic has antiviral, antifungal, and antibacterial effects, which can help stimulate our immune systems. In fact, studies suggest that garlic can help improve symptoms of a common cold. This is because garlic can help boost the immune system, allowing our bodies to fight off colds. So if you're sick, Try adding some garlic to your meals. It really does work magic. Coconut water. Coconut water not only helps us stay hydrated, but it also contains antioxidants, which can help improve our blood sugar control and also fight against oxidative damage. Because coconut water contains electrolytes, it's a great fluid to drink when you're sick. So drink up. Remember, you should always stay hydrated when you're sick. If you don't drink lots of fluids when you're sick, your symptoms will only get worse. So stock up on that coconut water and any other fluid with electrolytes. You won't regret it. Honey. Honey has all sorts of antibacterial effects and can actually help stimulate our immune system as well. Most people know that when you're sick or have a sore throat, they should eat honey or mix it into their tea. And it's true. Not only can it help soothe a sore throat, but it can also help relieve a cough. So if you have a particularly bad cough or you have a sore throat, consider a spoonful of honey. You can take it by itself or put it in your tea, or you can even mix it with milk. The moment you swallow it, you will start to feel relief in your throat. There's a reason why people always drink lemon with honey when they're sick. Tea. This is a pretty obvious one. I mean, who doesn't drink hot tea when they're sick? Tea, just like chicken soup, is a natural decongestant. It can help clear your sinuses of that pesky mucus. And of course, it can also help keep you hydrated. Tea also has polyphenols. Polyphenols are natural substances which are found in plants, and they have all sorts of different health benefits. Tea also has all sorts of antiviral and antibacterial properties, which can help us when we're sick. What are some foods you eat? or natural remedies you use to feel better when you're sick? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.